Biggest bourbon per people there are. Biggest distillery, biggest distributor, everything. Jim, is that you? A shot of whiskey with him right there. Now, there 
Pretzels by a little more double, sauce made out of copper. Right there, we can vaporize that liquid one more time with a few of those impurities and a bit more water. So then we go to our high wine cooler, we can mix that into the liquid one more time and send it back down on copper carrots over your middle. We'll think about our second tail box over your label high wine. That high wine is going to be about 130 degrees. And at this point, of course, we have essentially just made a gin bean mocha. We can barrel up to get any higher than 125 proof and call it implied vapor rinse. Now our high wine is a bit higher than that. So to fix it, we have to go through and add just enough of our good Kentucky water, bring that proof down to the barrel and call it a bourbon. This device right here, it looks like proofing tank. And if you look away at the top, you're gonna find a little red line. Now that is at that 53 gallon mark, and that is how much liquid inside our barrels here at any given point in time. So once we've got proof problem there, our process becomes all about our barrels. Now our here are made for us by a company called Independent State. They have a factory in Lebanon, Missouri, and in Lebanon, Kentucky. For Jim being alone last year, they made 400,000 new charred oak barrels, and we used every single one of them. Now to make that char you see right there, you have to shot a natural gas flame to fill that barrel for about 55 seconds, giving us a little four alligator char. So call to serve our barrel there, it's like an alligator skin after that charring process takes place. And if you look inside that barrel stay there, you can actually see a faint red line. That shows you how deeply into that barrel that liquid can sink over those years sitting in a inside our warehouse. So that is very, very important to pass that around. Now what they did when they charred inside of our barrel there is they actually caramelized which liquor sound actually inside there. So over the years of our product sitting inside that barrel, about 4 to 12 years on average, has plenty of time to sink in there, picking up that oaky and vanilla flavor as much great color that we're looking for. But our rules also tell us we can only use those barrels once and call the end product a bourbon. So that means around here we have a lot of empty barrels to do something with. Luckily for us, though, we do own a company called LaCroix Scotch. So the grand majority of our barrels here are over in Scotland where they are then used to age Scotch whiskey. Now we do have some barrels left over though, and we end up selling those people who make things like bourbon stay furniture, bourbon smoked spices, tequila, tabasco, brandy, vanilla, beer, wine, and pretty much anything else that can be aged inside a barrel. So our barrels here have a very, very long lifespan, just not always here with us. Now this liquid seat sitting right here is what we call a white lightning or a white dog. Our rules tell us a lot of things about it, but not how long that white lightning right there has inside a barrel right here, or it can officially call it a bourbon. Now to call it a Kentucky straight bourbon, it must sit inside a barrel here in the state of Kentucky for at least two years. But just to call it a bourbon, all I really have to do is turn the handle there, what does it look like? Water. Water. It's fine. It's okay. Anybody think it's water? No. Good answer. Is it over 21 volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> know what 125 proof tastes like? <laughs> All right, take a finger and double check that for me. 125 proof? Yeah. Good answer. There you go. <laughs> Well, let's try that. That is 125 proof Jim Bean Moonshine or our unaged bourbon right there. I'm going to try it. <laughs> You're not going to try it? No, it's really not bad. I wish they could have actually bought it, but they haven't done it yet for us. And you'd think with the moonshine craze, they would, you know? Yeah, they haven't done it yet, though. Well, did you taste that? Not too bad. <laughs> And out of there, you get a grand total of one barrel of bourbon a day. That is it. Now, I did not meet our demand around here, so we're going to head over and see our full scale operation. Now, the last fermentation you guys saw was 500 gallons. Next one you're going to see is 45,000 gallons and two and a half stories tall of meats. So, when we head in here, I'm going to find that and let you guys get a good look inside. But please bear in mind that that is two and a half stories deep. So along your hat, your glasses, your keys, your phones, and else you don't want to lose forever. Because it falls inside that vat, unfortunately it is gone. So please hold on to your cell phone. Sound good? Yep. Perfect. That's it. Good. It's warm in here.
I smell alcohol. <laughs> Show it to us. Now don't get freaking to just straight it off through the top. Then underneath that there is a 
Yeah, it smells good in here. Candle too would be good. Like that. Okay. 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 Okay.
And just down that, you're going to find our 14 million, 13 million, and 11 million barrels. Now, our 14 million barrel there was built in May of last year. Took us just at two years. 1938. Which one? Oh, it is. our Kentucky Fire here, a sweet cinnamon flavor. Tastes like those cinnamon red hot you get at Valentine's Day. Well, good kick on them. Our honey here tastes exactly like it sounds. And then this one right down here is our Knob Creek Smoked Maple. This guy right here is going to taste like drinking a glass of bourbon with a splash of maple syrup in it. Sound good? Mm. Alright guys, right over here we got all our true bourbon. We have our Jimmy White Label here, the best selling bourbon in the world. Hope you've seen it before. Next up is actually our Black Label, voted the best bourbon in the world last year by Blind Taste Test. It's a good time to try this guy, I haven't had it in a while. Next to that is our Devil's Cup, we were talking about Down the Hill, made from that bourbon extract from the barrel staves. And next to that is one of our newest products and one of my personal favorites. Now this is our Jim Beam Double Oak. It is aged in not one, but two new charred oak barrels. To remember that rich oaky or smoky flavor, this guy right here is a great way to go. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit different, you have two rye whiskeys in here. Now, in order to be a rye whiskey, it must be at least 51% rye. I mean, those guys are no longer a bourbon. But that rye just gives them a nice spicy or peppery flavor. If you like things like that, we do have our Jim Beam and our Knob Creek rye available in here. We also have our Knob Creek single barrel over on T-Line, as well as our Jim Beam single barrel. Now, this guy right here are the premium barrels of that Jim Beam White Label, the best-selling bourbon in the world. Now, if you're looking for a nice, easy, approachable bourbon, who do you suggest trying our Basil Hayden? This guy right here is 80 proof and one of the smoothest bourbons you'll ever drink. It is a high rise with a spicy flavor on it, but it's not going to give you that cool Kentucky hug. You guys know what a Kentucky hug is? That warm place you give and drink alcohol? That's the Kentucky hug. This <laughs> so right here is got a small one. Baker's has a slightly larger one. Now, Baker's here is a 107 proof, seven year old grape sipping bourbon, perfect pair with chocolate or cigars. Now, we do suggest you go from low proof to high proof and say the sweet stuff. Gold last. chip face down. If it's not face down, you're going to get an error message and no bourbon. So make sure your cards are face down. Great. You want your card as well? this. So, to fix that, we're going to give you guys the glasses so you can't steal them from us anymore. <laughs> Sound good? Sure. All right, guys. So, when you leave here today, make sure I get my little magic card in the basket by the door and make sure your glasses with you. All right, guys. This awesome. is the end of your tour. My name is Stephanie. If any questions at all, please come find me. Do I step right up here? Grab yourself a glass. Go have some fun. Got about 10 minutes here in tasting. <laughs> Okay, wait, and then you just pick which one you want. Just touch. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. That was awesome. All right. I have to put my nose in it. Oh, that's gonna be good. Is it? Oh, sure. All right, I'm going to try the black label. Black label, take my card out. There it is. I haven't tried it yet. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Take that. You think of what you had was smooth? Try a sip of that. That's probably the smoothest bourbon I've ever tasted. Oh my. That's the black label extra aged. I'm gonna try the devil's cut now. didn't do anything. There it goes. Ooh. That'll give you that Kentucky hug right there. It's not a bad burn, but it's a burn. A little bit of a burn. But not bad. It's pretty good. Look good. That's pretty good too. All of it's smoother than I thought it was going to be. Oh man, just smell it. Yeah, like syrup. Jim Beam syrup. Put that on your pancakes. Oh my gosh. I couldn't drink a lot of that, but it's good. Gives you a little heat at the end. Isn't that good? Yeah. You want the rest of it? You don't have to. I'm gonna dump it out if you don't. Mind. No, I'll take it. I don't. Don't dump it out. I don't mind dumping it out. I just, you know. I'm not wasting it. How many more you got? I have one more. I'm saving same for my apple. Right. Because our time is probably running quick. I know. I want to get them drinking. Somebody's going to try the Jim Beam apple. Alcoholic. Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. yeah. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. 